Welcome back. This is our Algebra 2 Exponential Functions Lesson Number 3, Home Review Part 1. And so here we're going to be exploring, in this case, uh, basic functions, basic exponential functions. So uh, we see here which of the following represents an exponential function. And so let's talk about what makes a function exponential. An exponential function is a mathematical function of the following form f of x equals b of the x, where x, the variable, is an exponent, and b is a constant called the base of the function. Sometimes they are written in the form y equals a times b of the x power, where a is the show value. The, this is the value of the function where x equals 0, also known as the y-intercept. Everything else is still the same. b is still the base and x is still the exponent. So let's take a look at the choices we have for question number one. So it says here, which the following represents exponential function. We see y equals 3x minus 7. Now, this is a linear function, so most likely probably not going to be this one because we don't have our base, a constant raised to a certain power or variable x power. So uh, number two is y equals 7 times x to the third power. And we have an exponent, but their exponent is not the variable. The base is the variable. This is actually not an exponential function. Again, exponential function has a base, numerical base, a number, a constant, raised to a particular power of x. And we see in this case choice 4, 3x squared plus 7. Again, this is, again, another not a not a, an exponential function, but in this case more like a, a quadratic function, or a polynomial. But for number 3, we see y equals 3 times 7x power. It fits our form of y equals a times b of the x, where we see in this case our exponent is x. So choice 3 will be the correct answer for number 1. Number two, if f of x equals 6 times 9 of the x, then what does f of to 1 half power equal to? Remember, when we learned about our fractional exponents and do this without a calculator. So this really has to edit a little bit. So should we go like this? Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. It's actually really have some edits done better. Should be a fraction, a comma here, maybe? Yes, so here we go. Oh. Oops. Okay. Sorry about the edits, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about the edits. All right. So now we're just plugging in the one half. Uh, one half. So f of one half is equal to six times nine to the one half power. And if you remember what the one half power is, is a basically a number nine to the one half power is the same as a radical. So be the square root of nine. And so again, we treat the we treat the radical like an exponent, so we take care of that first. So we get six times the square root of nine is going to be three. And so we get 18. So our answer for number two will be 18, choice two. Okay. Number three, if h of x equals three to the x power and g of x equals five x minus seven, then what is h of g of 2? When well, we did composition, fu composition of functions, we took care of the item inside the parentheses first, so we will evaluate g of 2. So g of 2 would be, in this case, 5 times 2 minus 7, which is the same thing as 10 minus 7, or 3. And so now we do this composition, we take this result of g of 2 and plug into h. So we have h of 3. Now, the function h of 3 is 3 to the x power, so we'll take 3 to the third power. Now, 3 to the third power really means 3 times 3 times 3. And 3 times 3, well, that's 9 times 3. It gives us 27. And that will be choice 4. For question number 4, which of the following equations could describe the graph shown below? All right, well, definitely is going to be an exponential function, all right? Not parabola, so it can't be choice one, because this is a parabola, x squared plus one. And it can't be choice three, which is a linear function. This is y equals mxsb, or y equals negative two x plus one, so it can't be this one. 
Now, both two and four are exponential functions. They're basically some number to a certain, to a certain power where the power is the variable x, right? So this follows in line with y equals b, the x power. Now, I said, what happened to a? Well, a is just one, so it works out okay. But which one is it though? Well, a general rule for graphs of exponential functions would be the following. For graphs of exponential functions, when the value of the base is b is greater than 1, then, oops, then the function will be increasing. Okay, so when we have a graph that looks like this, or y equals b the x is where b is greater than 1. However, when the value base is between 0 and 1, the function will be decreasing. So it'll look like this. And this is y equals b of the x. But when b is greater than 0 but less than 1. And so that being the case, we see in this case that the graph we're looking at is going to be that of a decreasing function. So notice the y is decreasing. Going from left to right, the y values are going downwards and will continue to go downwards. That means that our b value, our base, must be less than zero. Sorry, between zero and one. I'm sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. So, so nutty, okay? And so that's the case. Our base is between zero and one. That will be choice number two for our question here, okay? For number five, which of the following equations represents the graph below? Okay, so one of the things we can do, again, this is definitely an exponential function, all right? But we also have coordinates given to us. The coordinates that are given to us are going to be, it looks like, at 0, 3, all right? The second coordinate is going to be a 1, 5, and a third coordinate at 2, 11. Okay, and so we have these three coordinates, and we can see in this case, when we plug them into our to each one of these, we'll see which one satisfies all three. So, for example, for, for choice one, y is equal to 5 the x. Well, does 3 equal 5 to the 0? And the answer is no, that's 3 is not equal to 1, so it can't be this one. We'll try out for the next one. Okay. Does 3 equal 4 to the 0 plus 1? Well, 3 does not equal 1 plus 1. All right. So it can't be this one either, number 2. Now, our third choice is y equals 1 half to the x power plus 2. We know that our base is less than 1 between 0 and 1, but this function is increasing. So because in this case, our function is increasing, it cannot be this one either, okay? Graph is increasing. That's the reason why this is not working out. Now for the last one, let's take a look here. Well, let's try the first coordinate, 0, 3. Well, does 3 equal to zero, 3 to the 0 plus 2? 3 equals 1 plus 2. Yes, 3 equals 3. So that works out. What about the next one? We'll double check to make sure. So we'll try this coordinate here. Does 5 equal to 3 to the first plus 2? Yes, 5 equals 5. That's a check. And then finally, for the last coordinate here, does 11 equal to 3 squared plus 2? And 11 does equal 9 plus 2, which is 11. So yes. So it looks like choice 4 is going to be our correct answer for number 5. This is, this is the end of part one. So make sure to catch our part two for we cover the next few questions. If you found this question, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave questions or comments in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, 
again, any questions you have will be helpful, you know, because just want to know how things are going. And if you really find this helpful, thanks so much for everyone. Take care and be safe.